Hi, welcome to Python tutorial. In the previous video, I have discussed the dictionaries in Python. In this video, I will discuss how to write a program to count the number of times each character appears in the string, that is the frequency of character in the string. Before we proceed with the program, first we will try to understand in operator in operator so in operator is used to uh, check whether a particular key is present in uh, the dictionary if it is present it will return true otherwise it returns false let us take an example let d1 is the dictionary and it consists of uh, three elements let us say that the first element is jan with uh, value as 1 and uh, we can say ap second element is uh, april and the value for this one is uh, 4 and the next element is uh, august and the value for this one is 8 now I want to check whether a particular key is present in dictionary or not using in operator. For example, uh, print d1 or you can say jan in d1. So jan is present in d1 hence it returns true in this case if i try to print feb in d1 it returns false in this case because feb is not present as a key in d1 so this concept we will be using to uh, find the frequency of character in a given string so first what we do is uh, we will read a string uh, from user uh, for that we will use input statement so let us say that uh, str1 is equivalent to input and then um, we ask user to enter the string now once the string is entered by the user it will be stored into a variable str now i want to count the frequency of each character in the string so to do that we will create one dictionary let us say that uh, d1 is a dictionary which consists of no elements so i will create a dictionary that is an empty dictionary using dict function next uh, I will get one uh, character from each uh, one character from the string in each iteration and uh, I will try to put that particular uh, character into a dictionary if it is already present I will increase the value of that uh, character by one if it is not present in the dictionary I will put that uh, element or a character as a new element with a value 1 so to get uh, the value uh, character from uh, the string we use uh, for loop so for c in str1 so what it does is it will get one character from str1 and it will be stored into a variable c in each iteration so first what we need to do is we need to check whether that c is already present in d1 as a key if it is already present in d1 as a key so it must be having some value let us say that if it, if it has appeared a uh, second time c must be having a value as one so what we need to do in the second time is we need to increase the value of that uh, c by one so if it is appearing first time it must not be present in d1 so we need to insert it as a new element so assume that it is already present so in that case what we need to do is we need to increase the value of that particular c that is d1 of c is equivalent to d1 of c plus 1 
so the d1 of c is the current value we will add one to that we will be getting a new value for that uh, the character if it is not present in the dictionary what we do is we will insert that value that is a c with the value one so if it is appearing first time we will insert the character as a new element with value one if it is already present the current value is incremented by one in each iteration finally we print the the dictionary so print d1 so once you print it we will be getting a dictionary uh, with the character as a key and value as the frequency of each character in the dictionary in, in, in the string so we will execute it so it is asking user to enter the string uh, let us say that the string is vtu vtu bgm vtu in this case uh, v is appearing uh, three times t is appearing three times u is appearing three times and uh, bgm is appearing one one time so we will just check it out the output so the output says vtu appears uh, three three times and the characters bgm appears one time in this case uh, the same program can be written with uh, the help of uh, the get function that is uh, you can say get function so uh, how can you use this get function that is the first uh, thing we understand and then we'll try to modify the same program using get function so get function usually takes uh, two parameters uh, let us say that i will take uh, this d1 uh, dictionary again for the example purpose now uh, d1 has uh, three elements jan 1 april 4 and august 8 as the three elements now what get does is it takes two parameters the first parameter is the key in a given dictionary and uh, second parameter is a numeric uh, value if the first parameter is present as a key in the dictionary it will return the value if it is not present it will return the numeric value that is the second parameter as the written value so we just check it out what is the uh, thing here so i will try to print uh, we can say that uh, in this case d1 is the dictionary so d1 dot uh, get so i will pass two parameters to it so what is the first parameter is jan and the second parameter is zero so what is the meaning of this uh, statement is i am trying to check whether jan is present in d1 if jan is present it will return the value if it is not present it returns zero in this case uh, jan is present in d1 so it must return uh, one so the output must be one in this case so i'll try to execute one more time uh, in this case uh, d1 dot get i'll try to get the value present at feb feb is not present as a key uh, so definitely it has to return the second parameter in this case the second parameter is zero so the output must be zero in this case so we'll try to use the same concept uh, to rewrite the previous program so I just copy and paste the program whatever we have written so almost the program remains same only thing is we need to modify one statement so in this case uh, uh, in in this if statement what we do is we will check whether uh, the element is uh, present in the dictionary or not the character is present in the dictionary or not if it is present uh, what we do is uh, we will increase the value of uh, the 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 character by one if it is not present we will set the value to 1 so what we do is uh, rather than using this particular if block we can use the get statement here so what we can do is uh, d1 of c is equivalent to d1 dot get and then we pass the parameter as uh, the first parameter will be c if c is present as the uh, can say that a key it will return the current value and then what we do is we will increment this value by one if it is not present it will return the second parameter so i will take the second parameter as zero so if it is present it return the current value assume that it is present one time so it will return one and then plus one so the value of that uh, character is increased by one 
if it is not present it returns 0 in that case so what we are doing in this case is 0 plus 1 so it will be 1 so this is the first time it is appearing in the string so that is how actually we can use get function uh, to do the task what we have done with if else block in the previous uh, example so we will see the output uh, again it is asking the uh, user to enter the string so I will enter the same string VTU VTU BGM VTU so VTU the characters are appearing uh, three times BGM is appearing one one time each so we will see the output uh, of course we are getting the same output what we got in the previous case so in this program we have discussed uh, how to uh, Cal, uh, get the frequency of uh, characters in a, in a given string uh, we have used uh, in operator as well as we have used uh, get function to do the task i hope the program is clear if you like uh, the video like and share with your friends do subscribe the channel for more videos thank you